Hey guys, just want to talk to you today about starting your healing. A major part of starting your healing is changing your environment. You have to get out of the environment that was conducive to the dysfunctional cycles that you were originally in. So that may mean moving to a different city, getting a new job or something smaller than that is starting to go outside of your normal routine of what you do. So drive a different way to work, go outside and have a walk every day at lunchtime when you get home. Um, before you start dinner, before you start your chores, go for a five minute walk and just spend some time meditating and talking with God. But a major part of starting your healing process is changing your environment. You have to change it physically, mentally, spiritually, and emotionally. For me, when I started my healing journey, um, Holy Spirit had me to stop listening to secular music. So I was pretty much force feeding myself worship music. My flesh did not want it because the flesh is always contrary to the spirit. So when you're healing, your flesh does not want it. It doesn't. Our brain and our bodies are wired to protect itself. So the dysfunctional cycles you've been in for a while, um, at first, your flesh is going to resist it. Your brain's going to resist it. It's going to say, I don't want to do these things. Why are we doing these things? I can't do these things. But you have to override that. It's not about willpower. It's about asking Holy Spirit for the power to heal, to overcome those things. And how do you know that you need healing in those in an area in your life is it's just not working. Things just stop working. When you're a chosen child of God, God will allow things to go on for so long before it just stops working. So you, if you have certain areas in your life where it's just not working, your relationship with your children, your relationship with your spouse, your relationship at work, your relationship with friends and family, even a relationship with yourself. Where it's just no productivity, there are no fruits of the spirit, there's no love, joy, hope, peace, long-suffering, endurance. You need to take that area to Holy Spirit in prayer, to God in prayer, and say, God, help me. This is not working. What do I need to do? He's going to slowly start pulling the scales off of your eyes and your ears to show you, hey, this is the area here that you need to be praying about. This area here needs to be you need healing in this area and it may just be if you're talking about a relationship with your children that relationship is transitioning you can't parent them the same way as they continue to get older so with the relationship with your children that needs healing it may be in the area of communication where you need to learn how to start listening to your children it cannot it can no longer be an authoritative dictatorship it has to be a thing where you're more providing them with guidance and leadership but you have to be open to change. With healing, you have to be open to change. Be open to doing things a different way because your way is not working. If you could have healed yourself, you would have did it a long time ago. Nobody stays in dysfunction unless it's comfortable. And that's just the honest truth. For some people, dysfunction is comfortable for them. So they like the drama, the chaos, the stress, the, the messiness of life, that's just their comfort zone because they get to hide. But when you are chosen of God, he's only gonna let you hide in those dark places for so long before he, he just disrupts things as this wind is doing. The wind is blowing, he'll start disrupting things and moving and shifting things to where you can no longer stay in those places anymore. So one major step in your healing process is to change your environment. Get outside today, enjoy this, enjoy the beautiful weather of summer, enjoy the sunshine. Wherever you stay at, whatever region you're in, whatever country you're in, whatever state you're in, get outside and just start enjoying the weather, enjoy the earth. Go outside and say, hey God, <laughs> what are we talking about today? Hey God, I need healing in this area. And just listen, listen, wait and listen to hear the voice of God. He is waiting to speak to you. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day.